At some point in time, every outrigger paddler has been told by their coach, if you want to get better, you got to get on a one man. But what if you can't see well enough to steer one? That's where Makapo, the NAC, and a PhD candidate from UCI come in. We're creating a remote control OC1. Join us on August 11, 2018 for our Benefit Luau. We're partnering with the Newport Beach Hawaiian Lions Club and the NAC to hold a special event that will raise money to ensure we achieve our mission of helping blind and visually impaired people live active lives. Tickets are $60 per person with a special VIP experience also available that will give guests the chance to experience what it's like to paddle without being able to see. For more information or to purchase tickets, please visit www.makapo.org slash benefit luau. Ah, the one man canoe, the best way to learn how to paddle properly. No one to paddle for you, no one to hide behind, just a humbling experience because you have to paddle yourself. But what about our Makapo paddlers who can't see well enough to paddle a one man? They can't paddle on their own, you can't take their cane with them, you can't put the dog on with them. So what's the solution? You do what works for every blind person when there's no other option. Ask a sighted person to steer for you. The first thing really is to create a way for them to steer you, and then ask them for help. The engineering behind the whole thing is being handled by Mark Baldwin, who has had experience working with the blind community before. I am a PhD candidate, about to start my fifth year, and uh, I work in the space of assistive technology primarily doing computer-based um, software and support concepts for the blind and low vision community. So what does our setup look like? The canoe we're using is a Puake Designs Ejukai. It was donated to Makapo and the NAC by Makapo coach Tony Bouchot. It was damaged while being transported, but now it's as good as near. And to make things a little bit more complicated, we wanted something that wasn't permanently attached to the canoe. After a couple rounds of discussion, the plan was to mount a servo with enough torque directly on top of the rudder. So Mark took the Ehukai's tiller cap, 3D scanned it, and modified the cap by adding a star-shaped interface that would dock with a corresponding shape on the bottom of the servo. The servo would then be connected to the canoe with straps and a foam harness. Our first test was on May 2nd, 2018 at the Newport Aquatic Center. Mark's modified tiller cap needed only some light sanding to make it fit perfectly. Unfortunately, the motor wasn't strong enough. So Mark ordered a new motor and reworked the mounting solution. Two weeks later, we came back to the NAC for a second round of testing. Mark had the stronger motor and a new mounting design that allowed us to strap the apparatus to the canoe. Range is about 100 meters, and the foot pedals still work in case the paddler needs to override the system. We also planned to test the whole thing on the water, so we needed a guinea pig. We enlisted the help of one brave Makapo paddler, Efren Becerra. We are going to test, this is our second try to test out a remote control one man out on the water. And so with everything installed properly, and Efren ready to take one small stroke for mankind, there was only one thing left to do. Put the canoe on the water, have Efren paddle it, and then Mark steer him around. And it worked! So, and uh, we just so we just got back from our first uh, water test, and it, it worked really well. So um, now the the next phase is we'll go back and take what take what worked and what didn't, and make a few minor modifications to uh, simplify the mounting of the the harness on the boat and um, make the parts a little bit stronger. But for the most so, part, yeah, nothing. I mean. Second, second time, you know, the first time around we needed to kind of up the power of the motor and the battery and so forth, but we did that and what the solution we have now works wonderfully and uh, I'm really excited. So we'll take those changes that Mark wants to do and implement them in a couple weeks. 
Until then, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, like this video, and we'll see you in the next video.